What's going on guys, Bart here with Tully Television and today we're going to be wrapping up the Legion of X series uh, with issue 10 entitled Among Us Stalks the Sentinels. But before we get into all that, I want to thank you, uh, all of you guys for who, who have been stopping by, liking, commenting, sharing. It really means a lot to us here at the channel. Every little interaction goes a long way. Maybe a simple click for you, but for us, that's to uh, put us in the algorithm, the recommended uh, videos and such. I'd like to see this community grow uh, and spread the love of comic books, movies, TV shows, uh, just the love of pop culture stuff. Uh, we like to dissect stuff here. Find out why we enjoy these things so much as a form of escapism. Uh, but let's get into it. Issue 10, Legion of X. This is going to wrap up all the storylines, basically, and setting up new ones for the Sins of Sinister uh, story. Now, if you remember last issue... And if uh, I also want to re-correct myself for for issues upon issues until last issue, I kept calling the character Lost Dust for some reason, and um, I just want to reiterate that again. That anytime you've heard me mention the character Dust in an off chance with these videos, I mean Lost, not the character Dust. Um, the story is written by Cy Spurrier, Nito Diaz as penciler, Sean Parsons, and Alvaro Lopez as inkers, uh, Javi Tartalga, Tart oh my god, I cannot pronounce today, T-A-R-T-A-G-L-I-A, -A -A, and Ruth Redmond. And uh, the cover art artist was Ben Harvey. Um, if you remember last issue, Nimrod came and started attacking uh, through the altar to uh, help defeat David. Because David uh, is going to be one of the more powerful mutants that can stop Nimrod. Uh, they also infected Warlock to connect himself with Kokoa. So then the defenses will be easier to come through and uh, basically overwhelm Kokoa to the point of being defeated. Um, we have here, as a start, Professor Xavier, uh, Blindfold, and David Holler. Uh, David Holler was defeated uh, and needs help from his father to defeat these things in the altar. But Professor Xavier, as always the upstanding father that he is, decides that he has to go help his people on the island first. And I get that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. But when it's come to David, it's always uh, Charles's people, Charles's people, never any real sort of... Uh, no, I'm going to make my last stand with you, David, not with my people. Um, and that's kind of where we are at right now with that. We also see here an expert, uh, excerpt from the journal of Professor Xavier that he had something uh, in place to shut David's mind down uh, in case he became... Uh, unruly or uh, his mental uh, disorder started coming into effect again because uh, of him having split personalities and, and stuff. So, um, yeah, so we go through the list, uh, the list of the characters in here and everything. Uh, we begin to understand that uh, Morgali had set the spell to start altering some people's uh, physical appearance. She was in league with Orcus and Nimrod. 
just for her own. Uh, she's going to get what she needs to get at the end of this issue. And then we pick up with the le rest of the Legionnaires trying to get to Warlock so they can uh, break the, the bond with Nimrod. And if you remember me saying about Forget-Me-Not uh, last issue, uh, she's finally remembering him because she found the earpiece that Forge made. So now she's remembering all these uh, dates that they were on and them uh, bonding over, you know, life in general. And she's now remembering him and their relationship because his power is that no matter how much time you spend with him, no matter what you do with him, uh, you're going to forget him. Even if you just met him 10 minutes ago, you're going to be like, who are you again? So she didn't really realize that they were uh, basically like falling in love. And here he is. No one is really realizing that he's getting his ass kicked by everyone because everyone forgets him. So they don't realize that they have to protect him and rescue him. <laughs> And um, basically, uh, Lost remembers, and she's trying to uh, gather up the rest of the Legionnaires there uh, so we can go see Forget-Me-Not. And then we see Orcus and Morgali going after Kurt. And uh, basically what he... The Black Knight has passed out. Dr. Nemesis is done. Pixie's done. And uh, Morgali wants Kurt to fully embrace his uh, demon appearance and become a demon himself, and he's refusing to do that. Kurt will forever um, not... Uh, he may lose faith and realize that there's something greater than what he believed in, but he'll never give up uh, hope. You know what I mean? He's always one of the most hopeful, optimistic characters, and that's one of my favorite things about him. Despite how he's gotten treated, despite his appearance, he still feels like there's a better uh, world out there for him and his mutant brethren. Here, we have Blindfold and, and uh, Legion getting ready to maybe be taken out, and Xavier realizes that he has to come back and save his son. And he does. Um, there's this channel out there, a uh, Gray Malkin, Malkin1407, uh, who uh, we talk about Charles Xavier and his uh, father, his fatherly ways. And I will say that amazingly enough, uh, this is the first time I've really seen uh, Xavier step up and really uh, do what's right for his son. And what he does is basically help purge all of these um, entities that are attacking inside of his mind and is going to try to release them. Uh, this isn't really... You dip. Uh, I wonder if that was the Dominion. This looks familiar. I forget maybe what that's from. But Mother Righteous is not very happy with it because I think that she was hoping things will work out differently, but she's still trying to portray as if she's, you know, down with the cause. Uh, we'll soon find out uh, in the Nightcrawler's uh, limited series that all this, all these uh, deals that she was making and stuff was really for a greater purpose for her uh, down the road. Here's one of my favorite panels out of this whole uh, book and maybe even this whole series. Uh, Vox is basically using his cream, uh, scream uh, variants to uh, change Juggernaut into being able to defeat even more of these guys and break through to what he is basically trying to help adapt him 
because Nimrod and everyone else uh, is able to be adapted as well. So Banshee is trying to um, do that so Doug and Warlock can uh, break the hold that Nimrod has over, over Warlock. But there's only one thing that can be done and forget me not uh winds up severing the tie uh between warlock and nimrod causing a a massive explosion lost winds up losing her earpiece and then once again forgetting about forget me not and the sacrifice he just made and everyone realizes that uh, the bond is broken between Doug Ramsey and Warlock, and that Warlock very well has seemed to sacrifice his life for the greater good of the island. And no one is realizing that Forget Me Not Here passed away because um, they walk away saying, oh, well, at least we didn't lose anyone today. Little do they realize that they lost Forget Me Not and... Um, he's just going to stay there and be forever lost, I guess, unfortunately, unless someone remembers him somehow, some way, uh, in the future. Uh, finally, uh, Nightcrawler is so overwhelmed by the forces of Orcus and Morgali and becoming mentally fatigued that he has worn himself out to the degree that Morgali finally uh, gets from Kurt what he what she has been waiting for. She finally gets from Kurt what she's been waiting for, which is the Hope Sword. And it seems like this basically... Um, she basically sucked out all the hope out of him. And the reason why... Uh, this has happened and mother righteousness has uh, allowed this to happen is because now she can uh, lure Kurt into uh, her trap of needing more power and stuff and this is when we find out that she's one of the sinister clones here so she's actually a clone of Nathaniel Essex and that's where the series ends and then we pick up in the Sins of Sinister storyline. Uh, I covered Nightcrawler's number one uh, earlier on this channel. It's in the Nightcrawler's uh, playlist. And so basically what we'll do is we'll get into this issue, Nightcrawler's number two, uh, to continue the Kurt storyline and the Legionnaire storyline get number three uh probably finish that off with the sense of sinister dominion story uh story arc uh issue there to end the series um to end the story uh there seems to be a one shot called sons of x that follows up with our legionnaires with uh the aftermath of this story and the aftermath of the sins of sinister story but i'm not sure where we're heading after that there's a couple of series that are coming out uh, from uh, the Full of X story that's going to be happening soon. So uh, maybe we'll follow a couple of issues uh, or series of those of those titles. But I want to let you know we finished now two complete sets of series with Kurt and his adventures. And uh, let me know what you've been thinking of them uh, down below. Have you become a fan of Nightcrawler just as much as I have? Uh, if or, or maybe you turned off. Maybe you get turned off by Kurt. I don't know. Uh, but I loved the progression of his story. I loved the uh, the little the first part of the series was a little uh, got a little bit convoluted. Uh, Try to make it too complicated. But with a lot of newer characters, you have to kind of. Uh, exposition, uh, but it wrapped up great action packed, and uh, I can't wait to see what happen, what happens to our legionnaires uh, once everything settles down. 
Uh, as always, thank you. And until next time, peace, knuckles.